Банде Гуру Пададандам Бхактавинда Саманитам Се Чайтанна Прабхам Банде Нитананда Саудитам Се Нанда Адитанам Павуна Бхавишнави Бхюхамана Мукан Гароди Ваджарам Панам Ланхати Грим Джатки Пата Маханаванди Параманаманда Мадава Бриндави Кусиди Пайпиявай Кесвасаджи Шнавакти Бададеви Шаптаватой Нарайна Девинса Сватива Санпату Джайо Мудире, Санкита Никишна Пату Будиши, Гаурия Патрошо Прокаса Нича, Садан Рапто Буру Хоти Юкто, Бхакти Прамодача Джагот Итас падам зива беренчану там сахарна. Итати хам понутопал бхабад дикутам. Банде махабуру сути чарна рвинда. Ят пада паллавана качанна мани чатанай. Диспуржи додма пига Тарадика Микада Кибанкаш Си Кишна Джайтанна Прабхунита Си Аддайта Гада Дхара Сива Сади Гавура Бхакта Ви Аре Кишна Хари Кишна 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 Хари 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 Рам Хари Сатам, 
प्रायन भक्ति योगेन सत्संगे हेन बिनो उद्धव नो पाय विद्यति सम्य प्रयाणम ही शताम गौरीय गोष्ठी पति गौरीय गोष्ठी पति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट ऑल द टाइम दैट अनइंटरप्टेड सत्संग इफ यू हैव टेकन अ वो देन अप टिल दैट पॉइंट देन वी कैन नॉट गेट आउट ऑफ दैट वी कैन नॉट गेट आउट ऑफ माया गौरिया गोष्ठीपति शिशिला भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परमहंस जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट अप टिल दैट इन आवर लाइफ दैट ऑल द टाइम अन इंटरप्टेड satsang we are not at all getting that top most all the time in sanskrit and bengali we are speaking sarvakalik that all the time when satsang is not done sarvakalik meaning that all the time when satsang is not done then there is no guarantee that we can get out of this maya that hari bhajan what do you mean by hari bhajan that in the present situation the prabhupad speaking according to the present situation that all the hari jan that hari bhajan this all actually everyone is misusing that the prabhupad used to speak that in the present uh, situation yoga hari katha kirtan in the name of hari katha and hari kirtan that those people who are actually making cheating all these materially bonded jivas that definitely that to get cheated by them that actually it is actually written in their luck why because they want to get cheated by them that's why they are getting cheated the prabhupad used to speak used to say that in the present yoga hari kartha and hari kirtan in the name of hari kartha and hari kirtan those who are actually meeting uh, cheating these materially bonded jivas that to get cheated by them in this present yug that is becoming a yuga dharma that all harijan it means that who is sadhu who is actual sadhu this vichar is one kind of fallacy the prabhupad's vichar is that that uninterrupted hari katha hari kirtan all the time those people who are busy in that they are harijan means they are sadhu the prabhupad used to speak that all the time hari katha kirtan you are uninterrupted way you are actually getting busy in that that uh, they are actually called harijan they are actually sadhu that that is called sadhu and they are called harijan that in the present yuga that harijan or maybe hari bhajan all these words or maybe jayanti lot of words are there no all are actually getting misused jayanti word is also only and only particularly applicable for uh, krishna janmashtami for the avirbhav appearance of bhagwan and uh, this jayanti word we cannot use it for uh, material uh, materially bonded jivas rabindra jayanti all etc this can't be used for materially materially bonded jivas jayanti means it's a transcendental world it cannot cannot be used for material uh, uh, respect only and only jayanti word is actually used for bhagwan shri krishna it can get applicable for bhagwan shri krishna only in the present uh, samaj present situation you see here and there we can see lot of things around we cannot stay at all here and there we all the time we are actually unstable madness we are seeing of this material world that the banner is actually getting uh, uh, taken from government that ahimsa is param dharma are you tell me that paramhans uh, ahimsa can be param dharma ha huh? it is just one kind of uh, it is this is not at all dharma they are actually out of their mind their vichar is not at all getting in their mind at all they are not at all getting any vichar what madness they are doing ahimsa can be param dharma you tell me what do you mean by dharma that dharma what do you mean by that what do you mean by dharma you tell me that dharma is actually com- joking eh comedy you are thinking 
this drama by dharm is that by which by you are actually taking that that you are getting out of this material bondage that dharm is actually bhagavad dharm not other than that no other dharm uh, can uh, get us out of this material misery of ocean they will not at all help us to get out of this material ocean at all only bhagavad dharm can help us that's it that in this material material this material dharm that material dharm in order to get out of this material ocean full of misery that definitely we going to get the support we just need to wait for that that actually is being spoken here that ahinsa is ahinsa is actually is at eth- the ethical character it's not counted in dharma so this is a, an ethical quality which a person can possess so like this it is what to do ahinsa is param dharma this that all rubbish going on what to do lot of things are there in the market actually going on very nice uh, uh, sweet and uh, sweet and sour oh acha just by getting jeev prema you will get ishwar is so much cheap is this ishwar ha huh? like mayavadi you are giving bichar so by this you will get ishwar you will not at all get at all those who are actually get doing prema towards bhagwan then they are total they have totally different behavior and characteristics those who have the prema for bhagwan definitely for whole world they will be feeling prema oh, they are speaking like that that so much prema they are showing for jeevas they are taking fish and egg and all meat meat mutton etc so much prema they are having on jeeva see nobody wants to speak all actually want to take and sleep that's it in this material world at present that harijan and this word actually is being misused that just by speaking harijan that is actually transcendental devotees that those who have got their actual swarup identity who and those who have got the nitya siddh definitely they was me there and about sadhan siddh also lot of things are definitely he has identified his actual swarup they in whatever kind of family they are actually taking birth that externally their uh, introduction can be something whatever introduction they are getting externally that those who are taken the lotus feet of sadguru who have taken the lotus feet of sadguru in their life they are getting sharanagat they are actually harijan they are actually the eternal pasha of bhagwan that for them apart from hari seva they don't have any other kind of seva to do apart from hari seva in their life apart from hari seva they are not at all having any kind of abhilasha to do at all no kind of work or no kind of seva they want to do even walking sleeping drinking even taking a, a breath also is all for the satisfaction of bhagwan and nothing else and those who are avishnav those who who haven't identified their actual swarup transcendental swarup that to speak them harijan and to speak devotees it is not at all good to speak them like that to give them that title is not at all good because they are asatsangi maybe 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 we know that that swarup that in swarup swarup by swarup each and every person is actually nitya parsh nitya servant of bhagwan apart from that there is no other uh, pathway open for us but still it means that like water when it is getting f- into frozen form it is becoming ice when water is getting into frozen form the actual natural behavior of water is flowing the actual dharma of uh, water is liquidity but at sub zero level this water is getting uh, transformed into into frozen ice and just become like as hard as um, rock so you are thinking that water is just like ice in a natural state it is totally wrong now that uh, that it is his a natural it is his artificial identity what he has achieved now in his frozen state so in their life in in those people in their life their swarup they haven't identified that yet and the that to speak them sadhu and harijan it is not at all good to speak maybe in their swarup 
ईच एंड एवरी जीवात्मा इज एक्चुअली हरिजन बट बिकॉज ही इज एक्चुअली हैजेंट आइडेंटिफाइड हिज नेचुरल स्वरूप ट्रांसडेंटल स्वरूप एंड ही हैज गॉट अनदर स्वरूप विच इज जस्ट नॉट हिज एक्चुअल स्वरूप विच इज आर्टिफिशियल इन नेचर जस्ट टू गिव दैम द आइडेंटिटी एज हरिजन और साधु यू कैन नॉट गिव दैम दैट काइंड ऑफ आइडेंटिटी एज टू दैम एज हरिजन और साधु एट ऑल फॉर दोज पीपल देयर स्वरूप इज नॉट एट ऑल आई हैव ऑलरेडी आइडेंटिफाइड देयर नेचुरल स्वरूप इफ दे आर डूइंग हरी सेवा दिस इज द एक्चुअल विच आर देन दे कैन डेफिनेटली दे कैन स्पीक यू कैन स्पीक दैम एज हरिजन और साधु देर इज नो फॉल्ट इन दैट those who already have identified their swarupa that this paddy is there this paddy is there that paddy means that definitely rice is there that paddy that it means that definitely it is a true point this is a top most point but still when inside uh, one kind of uh, when the rice is there inside the inside the paddy that definitely that uh, outer covering is not rice because inside the cover the rice is actually is there but now when you are actually speaking paddy as rice then it is not at all good it is just an outer covering but we know that paddy is definitely rice we already know that so this uh, this uh, paddy outer covering dhan which in which the rice is there inside that paddy the outer covering that outer covering of that paddy if we are actually removing that then we can get the rice from inside so jeevas each and every jeeva whosoever jeeva he is that he is haridas every whatever jeeva he is actually nitya uh, sevak of bhagwan he is harijan then only he you can speak him but when jeeva is that kind of haridas he is not at all attaining up till that point to make this vichar that his harijan is not at all good this vichar will not at all get siddhi perfection in his life that manasiksha by manasiksha shila ragunath das ko swami ji he is speaking in front of us and is speaking a very unique vichar in front of us the actually if this manasiksha is not at all getting uh, discovered by रघुनाथ दास गोस्वामी पाद सो अप टिल वॉट पॉइंट वी मस्ट हैव गॉट डिग्रेडेड आवर कॉन्शियसनेस मस्ट हैव डिग्रेडेड बाय मन शिक्षा वी हैव ऑलरेडी हैव टोल्ड अबाउट द करेक्टर स्टेक माइंड हार्ट हाउ टू मेक दैम स्टेबल एंड हाउ टू गो टू वर्ड्स भगवान ही दे हैव एक्चुअली गिवन अस दैट एक्चुअल पैथवे what actually being spoken what is the literal meaning we have already just uh, told but again we will just uh, discuss this in front of you that the way of getting prema that our life in our life that topmost purusharth that in our life that topmost purusharth what is that that is krishna prem you understand the point that in our life to get that topmost purusharth that param purusharth is krishna prem and this param purusharth krishna prem in order to get that in the pathway of getting that prema there are lot of impediments there lot of impediments are there in that about that shila das ko swayam pad we he is actually uh, speaking and, and making us careful that oh sadhu be be careful be cautious about all this shila ragunath das ko swayam pad actually in our sadhu samaj everyone is actually making us cautious just sadhu just be cautious because this kind of uh, by this kind of avadhan so sadhu should be careful all the time very cautious so this prema in the way of prema getting prema lots of impediments are there about this ragunath das ko swami pad actually speaking oh mind asadvarta means that all material talkings 
that all rubbish material talkings you are doing it means that all material talkings foolish talkings that what shri man mahaprabhu that what shri man mahaprabhu ji that what shri man mahaprabhu ji is speaking to ragunath das goswami pad he is actually speaking him ragunath das goswami pad he is speaking very nicely when ragunath das goswami pad that prabhu you just save me you just need to save me then mahaprabhu speaking that that in order to that mahaprabhu has just given strict regulation because up till that point nityanand prabhu that guru kripa we are not at all getting then bhagwan won't accept them at all that's why he is uh, uh, Mahaprabhu speaking to Mah- Raghunanda Goswami but to go away to go away from here and to go to your home back just go to the home make your mind stable and just go home now this is my instruction to you now don't do madness externally just go to your home quietly you go home that in gradual course of time we can get the end of this material samsara baba shindukul sthir sthir hoya ghare jao na ho batul kame kame paaye loke baba shindukul aur iska baat kya batai and after that what is being spoken here just like monkeys don't show uh, vairagya like that that monkey who are actually showing externally they are very uh, unhappy they are very distressed externally you can see they are not at all doing anything with full anand they are actually sitting so much vairagya by their face you can see but if some kind of bhoga or some enjoyment they are thinking then they are actually taking it away that just like monkeys there are nobody else like monkeys the top most enjoyer nobody is there they are the top most enjoyer the monkeys that in the enjoyer whole enjoyer family the top most is the monkey the first number will monkeys will come just like monkeys nobody is there at all this much enjoyment is there in a monkey you can see that that just like monkeys nobody is there that's why mahaprabhu actually giving this example same example to ragunath das goswami pad that whatever actually is required in order to just uh, maintain your body so that your body can be maintained up till that only you just need to take just you will take excess you don't want to uh, make excess you don't take excess at all that is not at all good in the upanishad also it is written regarding this it is already written in the upanishad as well this actually being spoken here whatever is required to in order to maintain just by the kripa of bhagwan that you are maintaining yourself and you can just maintain your body and mind and your that if you will take excess in order to maintain your body you don't need to do that at all it's already written in isho upanishad about that that bhagwan what he has uh, put for us that topmost prasad all over the that up from plants all actually is prasadam of bhagwan prasadam means kripa all is kripa of bhagwan whatever is required you just need to take it for that in order to maintain but if you will take excess in excess then it is not at all good at all you don't need to take that don't uh, get greediness don't get greedy bhav by taking more in excess so that's why mahaprabhu actually speaking to ragunath das ko swami pad what he speaking to ragunath das ko swami pad just like monkeys don't show your vairagya whatever is required you just need to take it in order to maintain that yukta vairagya if you will do excess 
then you will become very low b you will you will become greedy and you will just fall down from your bhajan position you definitely going to fall down so it's very very difficult to maintain yourself to just follow the actual pathway of bhajan so that's why mahaprabhu actually speaking to ragunath das goswami at this point and when we can go forward we see that ragunath das goswami when he just went to gambira in order to serve mahaprabhu they are in gambira in puri then nitanand prabhu by getting the grip of nitanand after that just by doing the seva of nitanand prabhu now nitanand prabhu is speaking to ragunath das goswami but that you will definitely get seva and after that he is getting out of his material bondage and ragunath das goswami pad actually just went to puri nila chaldham and there he he just uh, uh, he already got surrendered onto the lotus feet of swarup navadar goswami by mahaprabhu mahaprabhu speaking that this boy is your swarup so you just take care of him he is your boy only you just need to teach him all the things regarding bhajan and what mahaprabhu actually he is actually making again and again some kind of instruction mahaprabhu can give to ragunath das goswami pad by a medium of swarup damodar goswami not directly at all ragunath das goswami pad asking swarup damodar goswami so that mahaprabhu can give him instruction so whatever kind of uh, instruct whatever kind of uh, petitions or prayers whatever is going to mahaprabhu it is by which medium via swarup damodar goswami that swarup goswami actually speak swarup goswami speaking to mahaprabhu speaking again and again he has one kind of request on your lotus feet that you just give him that ragunath actually asking you again and again that you just from your lotus mouth that from your own lotus mouth you give some kind of instruction to me you he wants to hear one kind of instruction instructions from your lotus mouth some direct instructions he wants to hear that mahaprabhu speaking that swarup actually that you are the actual advisor of uh, ragunath the how i can advise that swarup that you are the actual advisor and uh, you are the actual shiksha guru of ragunath das goswami pad that what he knows i don't know that much that swarup gosai that swarup how much he knows that that much i don't know at all he is speaking uh, mahaprabhu is speaking to ragunath das goswami okay if you want that uh, if some if you have some shraddha what i can speak then definitely i'll speak something if you have some shraddha on to me then definitely okay i'll speak something regarding some instructions to you what instructions were given that it's already being spoken like this no that ragunath das ko swami pad is very nicely mahaprabhu giving him instruction that asadvarta vish that oh my mind oh my mind that in order to control our mind in bhagavad gita mahapurana actually it is written regarding the heart and mind that this mati is of two types that this mati word is actually three ling feminine gender lot of uh, words are there like that so this mati word actually being used here this mati word is actually is compared with your mind that mind is also of two types one is that one is sati mati and one is sati mati and the other as other is asati mati just like a prostitute ragunath das goswami pad speaking what actually is speaking the what is the literal meaning i am speaking that that oh mind 
दैट ग्राम वार्ता दैट मटीरियल वार्ता दैट ओ माइंड दैट मोती सर्वस्व हर दैट असद वार्ता दैट प्रॉस्टिट्यूट दैट that definitely you just need to don't need to accept all this mukti and all this kind of asat trishna you just need to reject that that param brahm that vaikunth that topmost param brahm that lakshmipati that kind of relationship also you just need to reject that in order to get that brajavas if you have that desire inside your heart that secret desire to just serve in braj dham that radha govind Yugal Kishor, and that you can get the topmost kati in that Brajdham Golok Dham. That Brajdham is not a normal place at all. There, that kind of uh, realization of Brajvasi won't come like that to each and every person. Nobody uh, will get that realization of a Brajvasi. So Raghunath Das Goswami path, that all these instructions, what he is giving us. If you are uh, th- uh, asking me, the actual truth is that that uh, Raga Nuga Rupa Nuga. Uh, devotees, it, the actual uh, uh, updesh instruction is for them. For other person, what can be the instructions? You tell me. It's of no use. So that's why the oh mind, oh heart, that mati sarvasya harani, that asat 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 varta, that prostitute, and all this mukti, beauty, mukti, vyagri, and all different kind of material talkings, uh, everything. You just need to reject that. any how you just need to reject all these things and in more fine form and you have that desire to stay in braj dham that braj ras you want to attain that param brahm roop dharani that lakshmi pati that narayan also that kind of relationship also you just need to reject completely that completely you need to reject that that shri shri radha govind and radha krishna that actual bhajan in braj dham then you will be able to do that otherwise not possible if uh, sakshat swarup that relationship is not at all you are not at all attaining that in actual that relationship you are not at all getting with braj dham or with radha krishna then automatically mentally you just need to think and mean and have to get your relationship with bhagwan that uh, physically not possible then mentally you have to do so this is the actual instructions of ragunath das goswami pad what he is speaking that it is actually come by actually is compared with prostitute how why actually is being compared with press prostitute here that uh, that is actually being compared why because because that prostitute she is actually lumpard for all those unstable persons whatever kind of money actually there in their uh, pocket is actually been taken by that prostitute that whatever kind of special quality what the persons are having that some kind of nice bhav of their mental mentality it is also getting uh, stolen by a prostitute everything is being stolen by that prostitute that giant prostitute all those uh, normal persons that earth sarvasya everything is getting stolen by that vishya by that prostitute that she will just make that person on uh, just uh, uh, like a beggar on the footpath in the same way that asadvarta that material talkings asadvarta material talkings and all kind of rubbish talkings foolish talkings which have no uh, head and tail and in which no hari katha hari kirtan no prasang is there in that at all no hari seva prasang is there there is no prasang of hari katha at all that is actually called all rubbish talkings foolish talkings so this asadvarsa asadvarta what it is that is also everything is getting looted and it will just you will just become one beggar on the footpath street path and parmat is a very far distant thing those people what mahaprabhu ji is speaking this point a lot of time before in his leela he already shown that practically by his own acharan 
and he is also giving us the instructions also regarding this that mahaprabhu is speaking lot of, loads of lots of vichar mahaprabhu is actually putting in front of us under the anugatya of guru vishnu we will make vichar then only we can understand the actuality that mahaprabhu is speaking All actually being spoken by Mahaprabhu. Everything in details that about Chota Haridas, his punishment and Vallabhacharya's punishment, that punishment given to Vallabhacharya, that Mahaprabhu giving very strict uh, punishment to Vallabhacharya, that all these inst- things, this is one kind of a nice uh, instructions we are getting in our life from the teachings of Mahaprabhu. How Mahaprabhu has given them the punishment. This is all has become one kind of example in front of us. Mahaprabhu Ji, he is speaking to Ballavacharya in order to give him heavy punishment. Why? So that because he has just shown Spardha. He has shown false ego and Spardha. How? Like how? Like uh, Sri Daswami Bharat, who is the actual uh, uh, transcendental author of Bhagavatam, he has just uh, override him. And by overcoming Sri Goswami, Mahaprabhu becoming very angry with Vallabhacharya when he just overcomes Sri Swami. And just by ignoring Siddhar Swami, he has become so much unhappy with Vallabhachar. And what kind of punishment given to Chota Haridas by Mahaprabhu up till this, that this Leela was also done by Mahaprabhu, that internally he is actually accepting Chota Haridas in the form of Gandharva, but externally he has given a strict punishment to Chota Haridas by not accepting him again. So this actually done by Mahaprabhu. That to Chota Haridas, his punishment, that lot of vichar, very secret, topmost vichar, we can see and we can uh, understand that so much dangerous this condition is. That of Lampad people from their pocket, post prostitute is taking everything, stealing everything from the pocket of a normal person. So like Asad Trishna is such like that, that our heart is so much powerful in order to stop that, our heart and mind is impossible to stop them. That our heart is actually so unstable and so mad and so powerful that in order to control it is next to impossible. Not at all possible to control your mind and heart. Very, very difficult to control your heart and mind. Very, very difficult. Next to impossible if some word is there. We can apply that. So that's why with Arjun, Bhagwan in Gita, Sri Gita also speaking. With Arjun. Bhagwan, Sri Krishna speaking to Arjun in Gita. that your mind in order to control to get controlling over your mind and heart is next to impossible but it is still possible how the question comes how it is possible then to control the unstable mind where actually someone can take it by the kripa of Guru Vaishnav everything can be done then it is possible to control your mind so then only mind can get control if we can get the 100% kripa of Guru Vaishnav. Like this wind, that wind, we cannot, the actual wind which is blowing in the air, we cannot stop that at all. The air which is blowing in the form of wind, we cannot stop that at all. (laughs) 
that our mind is so much unstable so much unstable our mind is so much unstable being spoken bhagwan speaking yes yes you are right it is next to impossible to control your mind and heart to control your mind that what you are speaking you are speaking it right but still it is possible by actual practice under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav that uh, in when you moving forward you can control your mind definitely especially what mahaprabhu is speaking that those who want to go out of this material bhavasagar those who want to get over the ocean of this material misery then definitely those who are nishkinchan people that those who are all the time busy in bhagavad bhajan those who want to get uh, out of this material ocean of misery that those who are in mukha bhagavad bhajan for those people that mahaprabhu is speaking that in those who want to get out of this material ocean of misery that for them what it is what is there that for them that yashit darshan yashit darshan yashit sang is not at all good for them at all just by taking poison and to die it is more good more beneficial still it is not at all good to do die like that but still it is good still good but that raj darshan that stri darshan this is very dangerous it is more than that by taking poison so why so the in order to get that parmarthik uh, advantage nobody wants to take that uh, spiritual transcendental uh, advantage no vichar is coming for their transcendental advantage at all for their spiritual benefit that's why parmarthik lab it means that in bhagavad bhajan his heart is there that in order to get uh, parmarthik lab that to get his heart attached to that that is the topmost uh, treasure for all the jeevas to get that parmarthik parmarthik dhan that is the actual uh, that nishkinchan sadhu guru vishnuv that they apart from bhakti that kind of uh, bhava they already get sharnagata to lotus feet of bhagwan that is actually called sarvasya that is the topmost uh, treasure and asadvarta and asadvarta that this actually is getting uh, away from their heart completely by the process of sharanagati and atmanivedan from the heart of the devotees that asatvar asatvar asatvarta is actually just uh, taking our heart from all these things 
someone actually some actually uh, discussing very bad talkings one uh, boy and one girl and in between some cross connection with some nice person is getting cross connected with them very dirty talkings were going on between one boy and a girl and in between one cross connection of a very nice and honest boy is getting connected to it and he definitely has to reject that but out of curiosity he is actually just uh, uh, noticing what he is speaking oh my god what he is actually speaking all dirty talkings they are doing and that boy is actually getting destroyed completely his whole character is getting destroyed his boy is getting destroyed completely that boy honest boy very humble boy i have already seen it practically in my life this point that this kind of free hand practice what they are doing now all they are playing in that very matured uh, athlete he actually was actually that who is actually doing free hand practice to them he is actually speaking two to four bad points to them very bad bad points bad talkings with them and uh, all those young batch all those young young people young young batches they are it is coming in their ears that you see that you want to enjoy your life that you take beef that you take beef huh. then definitely your life will get successful so much enjoyment you will get by taking beef that i become very much uh, amazed and surprised just by uh, eating this beef you will do enjoyment whatever kind of material enjoyment that kama you will enjoy that just by hearing that that two to four young boys young batches they just got destroyed their life got destroyed they are just want they are just came for free hand and they have their vichar of their body but their mind and their heart and their body both all actually going into hell it's all destroyed so parmarthik vishay in that those who are very much clever and very smart in getting that spiritual benefit in their life that if that kind if that spiritual benefit becoming one kind of topmost treasure in their life that is the topmost uh, treasure for their bhajan life they will get the topmost bhajan life in uh, their bhajan life will get successful that all those bhajan shil persons it is actually possible for them loads of stories and loads of vichar is actually is there i don't have a uh, time to just speak so much because time is very limited in vrindavan that all those bhajan shil bhajan shil that bhajan shil person means that they are not siddh pa mahatma but they are actually doing bhajan they are in one bhandara they just went they are not at all going to any bhandara but specially in govind the temple in govind temple in order to take prasadam in govind it is the topmost luck you need okay let's go to govind temple they taken prasadam in govind temple and after taking prasadam that each and every person who has taken prasadam all their uh, brahmachari just get destroyed and they were actually just discussing that our in the night time everything is getting destroyed are all that every person actually speaking the same thing they actually just went to the govind temple to the mahanti of the govind temple then they had started crying to bhagwan krishna and they are speaking wow well, we haven't done anything wrong what happened to us then after that it uh, we they noticed that one prostitute all his money she is actually doing bandara by that money what she has collected when very bad person actually each and every person uh, has just went to the mat that he is the topmost uh, characterless persons that of that mat and mat is actually giving him respect and now he is actually externally is doing enjoyment and the mat persons are giving him the free will, free will and mahanti speaking that what i can do in that that i need to save him also and i, and I need to save you as well so what to do so all actually actually just getting they started crying all those what to do we haven't then bhagwan krishna speaking that yes you have taken prasadam but inside that which that a pr- prasadam is definitely a prakriti nature definitely prasadam is a prakrit but if some some very bad money is involved black money is involved then what bhagwan can do in that bhagwan speaking why you haven't taken tulsi out of that 
that what is my fault in that why you haven't taken the tulsi and just taking prasadam that definitely the respect of prasadam will be there and you will also get uh, saved so what i can do in that so this is the case you need to be very careful so all those bhajan seal puras that paramartha that is the topmost treasure for them that apart from that nothing is there the topmost transcendental spiritual benefit they want in their life that is the topmost thing that whatever kind of spiritual benefit whatever kind of fixed uh, permanency is there that four to five days before in hari katha what to one person he used to do lot of uh, seva i have just uh, uh, speaking very strict uh, i have just uh, got angry on him i'm just speaking because he started one kind of uh, on important vishay he just started uh, uh, doing uh, some kind of uh, he started doing one kind of uh, argument with me and he speaking to me that oh maharaj that my connection is getting connect uh, disconnected with you because my hari katha is not at all coming from me inside what i actually speaking before that is not at all coming that uh, i am speaking to him that again you go you can speak hari katha now and you don't try to uh, get argument with me again so this is the case that uh, if the spiritual power is actually going on going away like a snake that one uh, uh, scorpion or a snake if uh, is actually uh, giving to, is actually uh, one scorpion or snake is actually just um, um cutting someone biting someone two times then after giving the poison two times he will become weak that scorpion or snake will become weak by giving their poison the snake is also the same if two to four times he is actually biting someone tuck 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 like that then uh, that he will become weak by biting them four times that's why that in the parmarthik rajya that power of the spiritual world that anand that only it is possible for bhajan shil purush it is all for them that's it and this asad varta that all dirty material things all rubbish and foolish material talkings it will automatically go away it automatically will go away from their life that for a transcendental nitya object and to get a relationship with that and that anitya vastu or object and on just to speak on those uh, non permanent things and to get uh, connected with them just making relationship with those uh, impermanent things which are not at all nitya uh, it is not at all good and with hari katha hari kirtan dham naam not to make parikrama and all pure guru vishnu that nitya vastu by when they will be making relationship with them and all the time they are just discussing with them that is the topmost thing but with all those anitya objects when you are uh, just speaking and making your relationship with them all are actually asat it's of no use at all the shastra alochana that just he is speaking about the shastras but he uh, is speaking about the on the basis of normal profit and loss he is actually making the statements of the shastras i have already seen this practically that you must have seen it that they are actually speaking some shastra charcha but in front there are some pranami is coming in front of him and is getting greedy by that pranami that normal arth that normal simple profit and loss of money is by that on the basis of that he is doing shastra praman and doing uh, shastra charcha i'll give one example so that you can get it very clearly i went to some mat for some work so for some seva i just need to stay in night and morning i have to go away in that those that person who has just come to me in order to just speak to me that person came to me and speaking they are actually one sanyasi speaking that he is actually speaking with someone that uh, you have in vaishak you just come to me and uh, no no in vaishak is the actual income in is the income month and i just uh, hearing and becoming amazed and started laughing that sanyasi speaking no 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 in vaishak month how i can go a hey, vaishak month is the income month 
इट मीन्स बे शॉक मंथ दैट ईच एंड एवरी होम अभी विल बी डूइंग सम हरि कथा एंड सम आई विल बी डूइंग गिविंग सम हरि कथा एंड हरि कीर्तन पाठ ठक ठक मीन्स टू स्टील जस्ट बाई गिविंग हरि कथा आई विल बी स्टीलिंग दैम जस्ट स्टीलिंग देयर मनी अवे दैट ही विल बी गोइंग अवे हेयर एंड देयर ऑल द वेयर जस्ट फॉर मनी पोजिशन दैट्स इट दैट बैशाख मंथ इज एक्चुअली द इनकम मंथ हाउ आई कैन गो आई विल गो आफ्टरवर्ड्स सो दिस इज द केस वॉट टू डू यू सी द मेंटेलिटी सो जस्ट टू स्पीक अबाउट दो रबिश अनित्य वस्तु इट इज महाप्रभु स्ट्रिक्टली प्रोहिबिटिंग अस बट स्टिल वी आर डूइंग दैट वॉट टू डू वी आर नॉट एट ऑल लिस्निंग महाप्रभु एट ऑल दैट नॉर्मल रबिश मटीरियल टॉकिंग्स एंड जस्ट बिकमिंग ग्रीडी ऑफ मनी एंड पोजिशन ऑफ अर्थ अर्थ लालसा एंड जस्ट टू हैव दैट ग्रीडीनेस टू गेट एसोसिएशन विद द वुमेन दैट काइंड ऑफ विचार कमिंग इन एंड दो स्त्री संगी दैट स्त्री संगी और स्त्री संगीत संगी बोथ दैट स्त्री संगी दो आर डूइंग स्त्री संग एसोसिएशन ऑफ वुमेन दैट दो आर एक्चुअली डूइंग एसोसिएशन विद दैट वुमेन एटसेट्रा all are actually asat trishna it is actually based on asat trishna only all these things are actually based on asat trishna and that's why that all the vishay that sa vilas anushilan that is not at all possible that asat varta is number 1 in that that lot of vilasa lot of desires is there that definitely that no, that person is not at all doing any Uh, direct calm is not at all there but some passive calm is there inside him he still he is having some lot of people are like that directly they are they are not at all going to prostitute out but they are actually speaking about that prostitute they are getting lot of anand in that what to do what she is doing what she is doing like this they are actually talking so in the all these vishay just to get a service savilas anushalan is called varta that in mati sambandh shila in shri rai ramanand sambandh that rai mahashay see rai ramanand shri rai ramanand mahashay what he is speaking what actually spoken by shri rai ramanand ji that to all those human beings that by krishna bhakti ras by getting in, uh, acceleration by that krishna ras it means that subhashi tarati it means any how any how in any condition we are getting then in any every condition you just need to buy that any how, how much money we will get no money we who can't buy that that lob lalasa greediness that satsang greediness should be there lobha should be there for satsang that mulya lolla lolla means lob that lobha is the actual price of it that money dollar you uh, pound nothing is required for that in order to buy that that lob lolla that greediness is required even in our crores and millions and millions of life in our millions and millions of life also that's by our sukriti that kind of mati and that kind of matiman that person we cannot get at all up till which point we will get that person you tell me you show me nobody we will get like that nobody we will get that to all those human beings that krishna by krishna bhakti rasa that bhavita mati means that suga sitam mati if someone any how we can get that in our life then everything is getting solved sorted we will get topmost treasure transcendental treasure so automatically immediately without any thinking you don't have time of thinking at all immediately you need to take that immediately 
that up till what which what money you will you will require that lobe lobe greediness that lobe is there then only you can buy that if lobe is there then you just need to buy that that everything you just need to buy even millions and millions of birth even millions of birth that kind of sukriti what you have accumulated but still by after accumulation of sukriti this kind of uh, this kind of uh, thing you will not at all get at all again and the point mukti sarvasya haraniya sadvarta rupa besha sarvatma gulani mukti vakrir katha aila samajh you understand the point sarvatma gulani kya bola what actually spoken here Now the, we are coming on to the second shloka. There, Raghunath Das Kuswami Pad speaking. Don't hear at all. We are Greek Atha. You don't need to hear that. Our Bhakti Vallabh Tirth Kuswami Maharaj, Kuswami Maharaj and Baldev Vidya Bhushan Ji, he, they are doing one kind of Leela. They are actually Nitya Parshad. But still they are actually manifesting one kind of Leela. that on the spiritual platform just by going that going that they are just coming to navadvip dham and they don't know anything at all sorry kunji bihari vidya vision and son sahaji baba actually just grasping him and he is not at all baba ji he is actually one kind of crust he is speaking that you just stay in my ashram and your life will just get successful and he is seeing kunji bihari vidya vision seeing that her wife is also there in that uh, ashram and he was staying in the ashram and just by seeing the vyabhichar of those baba ji maharaj sahaj ji baba ji and in the night time when he was sleeping in the dream he is watching that from both the sides one is tiger and the other from the other side is tigress is there and both of them are approaching him and that uh, that wife of that uh, so called guru is becoming a tigress and is becoming a tiger from all the four directions they are going to eat and he is just uh, caught up and just sweating sweat coming out and after that what happened as that kunji bihari vidya bhushan thought that it is actually the kripa of bhagwan that he is foolish number 1 he is a cheater number 1 and he is just without speaking anything to that so called baba he is just going uh, and just running towards shri chaitanya mat that in his uh, own story in his own uh, life life a uh, life story it is coming here so mukti also that mukti that word also that mukti word also that mukti is also it is just compared with one tigress why because this mukti is there no this mukti that brahma nirvan that sayujya mukti that is just one kind of uh, fallacy in chaitanya charitamrita also there is one point that soyujya mukti the devotees are not at all accepting it at all that that soyujya mukti just by hearing the name the devotees not at all accepting that at all they are not even by you are accepting they are actually feeling very bad by just uh, just hearing the name of soyujya oh mukti oof why Why actually they are getting a bad feeling by having that mukti? It is good, Maharaj. Now how it is good? Only only Maya Vadis uh, love this mukti word. How it can be good? You tell me. That devotees, 
the devotees and Bhagwan that kind of stage, that savior and sevak relationship, in that all the time transcendently present on that platform. You understand the point what I'm speaking? The devotees and Bhagwan, the devotees and Bhagwan in between what kind of relationship is there? If they don't want to put any kind of wall in between that relationship. Bhagwan and devotees, they don't want, if some kind of wall is getting, uh, uh, is, uh, if some wall is there in between devotees and Bhagwan relationship, and that, then there's a big problem because devotees all the time want to uh, get prem, prema association of Bhagwan and Bhagwan also wants to get the association of uh, uh, Bhagwan. So that's why the sevak, sevak sevya relationship between Bhagwan and uh, devotees, we just need they these they don't want to become mayavadi just by crushing that relationship because that is actually a transcendental relationship. So this kirtan is there. This can actually give us the confirmation about the relationship between a devotee and Bhagwan. You understand the point what I'm speaking. So that's why all the devotees are actually feeling very bad. Why? Because because that relationship between Sivya and Sevak, that relationship between Bhagwan and devotees, it is just getting crushed away, totally destroyed. That devotees don't want at all. The devotees are actually topmost, transcendental. That relationship is transcendental between the devotees and Bhagwan. This word Mukti, what is actually being used here, this Mukti is actually Nirvan Bhukti, which Brahma Sayujya. Sayujya after just by uh, taking that topic, the devotees are becoming very sad. So this, they don't want to accept Sayujya at all because it will just get to destruction of the relationship between Bhagwan and the devotee. Here Mukti means that Brahma Nirvan, that Brahma Sayujya Mukti and Sayujya Mukti in Sayajap Swarup that that will just get destroyed the Atma Satya of a devotee completely. That Brahma Satya in order to just uh, <coughs> comfort, con- in order to just uh, prove that Brahma stage, that also it is compared with one kind of uh, flower in the sky, which is not at all possible. That one kind of flower is actually growing in the sky. It can be possible, you tell me. Well, we, well it can be possible. That without any uh, base, that f- flower is there in the sky. How it can be possible, you tell me. Sky flower. So this can't be possible. This is all rubbish. All rubbish Siddhant. Means that Sarva Shakti Samban Bhagwan is the only Param Tattva. That Bhagavad Shakti Nitva. It means that same Shakti in the Chid form that Bhagavad Leela. And in Achit Swarup, it is coming in the form of Maya and just uh, creating this whole uh, millions of Brahmand, infinity Brahmand by that. And inside that it is there in the form of Maya. That in infinity Brahmand it is there in Maya. It means that uh, the uh, subtle and cross body of the body of the Jivas, which they are getting that Tathasta Shakti, that infinity Jivas, they are... All the time they are actually getting uh, manufactured uh, by that infinity tattva Bhagwan, And they are actually eligible to do Bhagavad Seva as well. That those who are actually Bhagavad Nirdeshi, who are against Bhagavad, uh, Bhagavad Tattva and those who are against all those uh, Chid Bhagavad Bhakta devotees, that uh, by they are actually just... Uh, they are actually just going against the devotees. They are just pretending one kind of drama in front of others. And they are actually getting all that uh, material uh, uh, enjoyment out of that. So this kind of which are like uh, uh, someone actually is get, get taking suicide and they are feeling very peaceful by doing suicide. But it is not the actual uh, enjoyment, actual peace. In the same way, so all those uh, process which are falling for the getting mukti, what actually is written in the shastras by the given by the mahajans, that all those wishes, and
you just need to leave the actual association of the so called uh, mayavadis and just by leaving their association very carefully you need to go ahead in the bhajan line just by accepting the pathway of mahajans shown by them shila prabodhana saraswati pad also prabodhana saraswati pad is speaking such a strict uh, regulation in front of us up till that all the devotees of mahaprabhu are there that if we are not at all getting their association then all these kind of big big talkings that uh, nirmal buddhi this mukti word we will be writing very nicely but if we are getting the association of pure vaishnav then all will become tasteless and uh, very nice other shlokas are also shila prabodhana saraswati kuswami pad is speaking to us very nice beautiful points are there but they are very strict if you are a mayavadi this uh, ac- this mukti is actually equivalent to suicide it is one kind of suicidal squad this mukti they are thinking that stop most enjoyment what kind of enjoyment is there in mukti you tell me what kind of enjoyment is there where there is no kind of enjoyment for service towards bhagwan no krishna seva is there no question of krishna seva is there how that en- can be enjoyment and they are thinking that it is stop most enjoyment very nice how it can be you tell me that bhukti mukti they are having so much thirsty for that it is actually equivalent to that pishach and up till that point how you can make this kind of desire that that bhakti that kind of bhakti pleasure for pleasure in bhakti you can get because you are already getting uh, entangled in bhakti and mukti Shri Rup Goswami Pad Shri La Rup Goswami Pad is just uh, writing this point and speaking in front of us this point Shri La Rup Goswami Pad Shri La Rup Goswami Pad is actually speaking this point very nicely what he is writing Shri La Rup Goswami Pad writing that all the devotees that for mukti they don't they are not at all thinking of that at all they don't have any ruchi why because they are all the time having anand in krishna seva they are feeling enjoyment in krishna seva yeah, you understand the point it's in the kirtan of bhakti no thakur that the, if they are doing the bhagavad bhagavad seva that everything will go away all these kind of so called enjoyments will just vanquish so whatever be the case it means 
that this kind of pisaj when it will go inside our heart it is there up till that point that on to the pathway of bhakti that definitely how you can get that you tell me it means that bhukti mukti spriha that for all the devotees it is one kind of big impediments in the way topmost impediment is there in the way of bhakti it means that loan to lotus feet of shri krishna that by with the that seva anand they are getting that topmost seva that is the actual uh, thing so that's why this the heart of the devotees are all the time uh, engaged in seva that's why they are not at all uh, uh, getting engaged in the enjoyment of mukti and bhukti at all they can't do it because they don't have ruchi in that at all and lot of uh, things are there uh, related to this that karma kand karma kandi about that they are actually very much uh, uh people are actually very much feeling interested to do karam kandi conditions they are doing all kind of karam kand they are very much intelligent in those vishay it is all useless all these kind of activities of this karam kand it means all this is all uh, engaged with abhakti shila prabhupad speaking that in all these kind of uh, activities that those who are actually people they are engaged in this those activities karam kand activities they don't have any kind touch of bhakti they are all actually mayavadi so if you can making this vichar what you can get out of that kriya shakta na dhir so up till this that they haven't got the darshan of gorang devotees in the lotus feet of gorang that's why they are having their so much dangerous situation is there uplifted in their life that's why that's why they are non devotees so that's why that shri krishna's lotus feet that is that for all those devotees that topmost lotus feet of shri krishna is the topmost and that moksha vancha that is not at all they are feeling ruchi for that that bhukti mukti that pishach when it will be imbibed inside your heart then only the pathway onto the path of pure bhakti you can't reach at all it means that bhukti mukti vancha is one kind of barrier in the pathway of uh, uh, bhakti that is one kind of impediment in the way of bhakti and the topmost lotus feet of shri krishna that is the topmost paramananda you can get inside your life and it is not at all uh, it is without any ruchi okay whatever be the case so this lakshmipati that's to do the seva of lakshmipati that shri what shri sampradaya vaishnava are actually doing that venkata acharya tirumal tirumal bhatta of the shri sampradaya they were serving lakshmipati narayan and they are actually also vaishnav they were also vaishnav of shri sampradaya they were the vaishnav of shri sampradaya and when mahaprabhu at the time of four months of chaturmas when they went so much uh, actually they were requesting mahaprabhu to stay in their house that what bhagwan has done that mahaprabhu himself said okay i will stay there in chaturmasya for four months at your ho- at your house in shri rangam the what uh, that in front of mahaprabhu they are actually uh, putting request in order to have uh, four months here then mahaprabhu speaking okay no worries i will be staying here in chaturmas up till here in shri rangam and uh, what happened that uh, and uh, all up whole day that they were discussing hari katha with them mahaprabhu ka 
that with Mahaprabhu Venkat Bhatt they were actually discussing with Venkat Bhatt and Mahaprabhu asking that you I want to ask one thing that Lakshmi Di why they are not at all getting eligibility in Raslila what is the point in that what is the actual reason that the Lakshmi Ji is not at all getting uh, any eligibility in Raslila they were actually thinking that I am from Shri Vaishnava Shri Vaishnav Sampradaya so they are, we are actually worshipping Lakshmi Devi so okay Mahaprabhu actually speaking what can be the reason for that that why Lakshmi Devi is not participating in Ras Leela. Mahaprabhu speaking, what is the actual reason? Then when they are, uh, they, they are speaking, after hearing that who is Lakshmi, that is Radharani, they are non-different from each other. There is, that what is Krishna, that is Narayan. That is no, no difference is there. Mahaprabhu speaking, yes, I know that. Automatically, the Tattva is all the same. But still, why... Lakshmi Devi is not at all getting eligibility in Rasa Leela here. Still. The Tattva is same. But still what can be the reason behind that? That I am asking you this. That what is the reason behind that? Then uh, uh, in forward when Mahaprabhu giving them the exact answer. Maybe Narayan and Krishna there is no difference. They are not different at all. But still there is some kind of difference. That there is no difference. Yes you are right. But still there is difference. What is the reason? How it is possible? What's the difference in that? That there, Mahaprabhu, one shloka is there, Mahaprabhu speaking one shloka there, and he's speaking to Venkat Bhat and uh, Tirumal Bhat, and Mahaprabhu speaking to them, the shloka. So this kind of rasa that is there, whether Narayan and Krishna is all the same. I know that Narayan and Krishna is all the same, but still there is some difference. That uh, according to the difference of rasa, there is a lot of difference. It looks all the same, but it's not like that. Rasa which are difference is there. That, that's why Parabrahm, Swaru, Bhagavad Dham, Vaikuntha, etc. That Aishwarya Pradhan Narayan is actually is there with Lakshmi Pati. And he is the actual husband of Lakshmi. And to do the seva of Lakshmi, that's in that same dham, that uh, Shasti Swarup of that Narayan, that four kinds of mukti, they can get that out of that, those who will be worshipping Lakshmi Narayan. And in this relationship to this, Srila Rupa Goswami Pad writing, if I will be just writing, speaking so much, then the time doesn't permit that I will be just speaking in con- conclusive, conclusively, that I will be just speaking in front of you. One conclusive point, because Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur just uh, uh, speaking this point, the vichar is very much long. What is the actual vichar? But After this, that shloka is there.
what actually being spoken here That's why actually spoken here. Maybe that uh, that the above example, that Swarupya, Salokya, Samipya, Sarishti, Sayujya, all these five kinds of muktis, that we just need to th- leave that. All these points are actually being explained here. Maybe these five kinds of mukti we just need to leave and need to keep. But still, that Shalokya, etc. These all four kinds of mukti, it is actually not at all hundred uh, percent against bhakti at all. That Shalokya, etc. All four kinds of mukti. What is there? This is not at all hundred percent, absolutely not against bhakti at all. Why? Because these kind of four kind of mukti, what the persons are getting, it is actually uh, just having uh, uh, have some Krishna seva, because it is there in Vakunt Dham that kind of yukta varaga they are following. That kind of mukti which they are getting in Vakunt for those uh, Vakunt pashat or for those sadaks. That Shri Krishna, Shri Krishna Bhakti is there. That I have already heard that they already got Krishna Bhakti. They also got Krishna Bhakti afterwards when they have just went to Vaikuntha Dham. Still, they got that uh, Krishna Bhakti in them. But that Shalokya, Sharshti, Samipya, all these kind of muktis, Swarupa, all these etc. These four kind of mukti. They are not at all totally against bhakti. That these four kinds of bhakti, they are not at all absolutely hundred percent against bhakti. What is the reason? That the above example, what I have given, those kind of mukti, maybe they in the coming uh, coming uh, days they can get uh, Krishna bhakti. We already seen that these all kind of four mukti, that kind of stage, if they have got that kind of topmost transcendental enjoyment, they can get in that. But uh, that topmost prema, transcendental prema, with like Krishna, they can't enjoy that. And uh, this kind of, out of the four kinds, two kinds of stage, that one is Ashwarya Tara and one is Prema Tara. That the first one, that Ashwarya Tara, that the actual example given of the Sukh Ashwarya Vancha, that is the first uh, uh, goal of each and every sadhak. The first uh, in the first stage, that what I have already told, that kind of ashwarya vancha and enjoyment, that is the topmost goal inside your heart to be attained. That, that kind of shukt ashwarya vancha, the with the mixed with ashwarya, that prema is actually required. That is the first goal, primary goal. That primary fixed goal is that only. The first, the first loka in that, that uh, about the rasik devotees, that seva rasik devotees, all the seva rasik devotees, that whatever kind of uh, against which are uh, of bhakti, they have not at all accepted that. What is against bhakti? Still, they haven't accepted that in this first loka. So, whatever be the case. The first is the first which are of the Seva Rasik devotees. But that Prem Madhurja, in order to taste that, that the topmost of all those Ekantik devotees, these out of these five Mukti, maybe out of this one Mukti, they don't have this which are to take any of the Mukti out of the five Mukti. Those who are Ekantik devotees of uh, a Hari. That out of these five mukti, even one single mukti they are not at all accepting. Those who are actually ekantik prem madhurya devotees of uh, Hari, they are not at all accepting any of the five muktis at all. The above uh, uh, prem madhurya, those ekantik devotees inside them, that Sri Nanda Nandan, this lotus feet, all the time is there inside his heart. Their heart is getting stolen by Nanda Nandan Krishna. And apart from that, they are not at all thinking any of the any anyone apart from that and uh, Parabrahm, Lakshmipati, Narayan and Narkadhish, the Dwarkadhish, Rukmanipati is also there that 
just in the that Krishna Prasad of Dwarakadish, their heart is not at all getting attracted at all. They their heart can't be stolen by that Dwarakadish or Lakshmi Pati Narayan as well. Because their heart is all the time on to the lotus feet of Nandanandan Shri Krishna, is their heart is just getting um getting stolen by him because they are getting that topmost Brajanand inside them. So much it is stick to their heart that uh, they are ekantic uh, devotees of uh, Hari out of these five mukti. They are not at all accepting even one because that kind of Prem Madhurya, that kind of uh, topmost taste of that Prem Madhurya is only possible for this ekantic devotees because in their heart all the time that lotus feet of Nanda Nandan Shri Krishna is uh, present there and stick to their heart all the time and their heart is actually getting stolen by Nanda Nandan Krishna and what to speak about them they are the topmost what to speak of them they are topmost so the first actually the, the of the Rasik devotees that that Sevaras they won't get in that uh, Lakshmipati Narayan but in order to get that Prem Madhurya to taste that that all those Ekantik devotees out of the five Mukti they won't accept even one Mukti out of the five Driyamanam Upi these these uh, they don't they just only like my seva that's it and uh, five point of mukti they won't take accept that only seva they want that uh, all those ekant anurakt devotees out inside their heart that the lotus feet of nandanandan krishna who has just stolen their heart they are the actual topmost but that parambran lakshmipati narayan that dwark and dwarkadesh rukmani that krishna his prasad they are not at all getting stolen by them at all and their heart is not at all getting attracted at all by that that their heart uh, is not at all stolen by them at all and if Srinath and if and if that Srinath and Sri Krishna Siddhant some no difference is there between them that actually we have actually making this conclusion in this which are that still that still the Sarva Krishna Prema Moy Rasubibandhan that Shri Krishna Swarup they are actually getting attracted to that that apart from that nothing is there that is the topmost at present you can see the present scenario that the topmost is the uh, lotus feet of Nandanandan Krishna because that Okta Prem Mai Ras is naturally there in Shri Krishna Swarup. Naturally there in the uh, Shri Krishna Swarup it is there. Up till this point also that Bhagwan, that uh, just by seeing his own face is becoming surprised. Oh, how it is possible? Who is? Who is this? that he is actually uh, standing in front of me in the mirror he is some kind of person some male per- some male person is there oh i am this oh my god bhagwan actually getting surprised by seeing him maybe in Srinath and shri krishna there is no uh, difference between their tat and siddhant but that the actual conclusion we can get out of that that topmost uh, rasmai swarup shri krishna nandanandan krishna swarup is the topmost swarup that uh, uh, it is actually getting the conclusion and that uh, Prem my Ras is all the time getting uh, we can relish that in this uh, Nandanandan Shri Krishna only and in all these Vishay Shri Haridas Thank you.
what does it mean actually it means that that shri ri haridas actually speaking that all the heavens that when you are that it is very important to discuss about this that heaven that heavenly planets that what you can speak of that it's all really rubbish useless and on this earth also that all those uh, if we can become the whole uh, master of this whole earth you can get some kind of uh, benefit in that the life is of two days only that uh, moksha lakshmi that uh, to do the kirtan of that is of no use at all that moksh moksha lakshmi in the name of that you are doing the kirtan of moksha and lakshmi and you can you can you get something you just please take it away from me just take it away from me that's it this our heart actually we just going to get stolen by all this yes that's actually being spoken here by shri hari das alam means it is not at all required is useless alam alam and what actually spoken here alam alam tridiva vartaya kimiti shakta homa sriya vidura taro vartini bhavatu moksho moksho lakshmi rupi kalindo girinandini tato nikunja pushpodare mano harati kevalam that what i will take of the uh, objects related to heavenly planets and i will be just taking the master of this uh, material earth what i will do of that also even moksha and lakshmi all this kind of it should go away from me that uh, it ju- it should just stole away all those braj braj things things related to braj it is actually just uh, uh, attracting me and is just stealing my heart so whatever be the case up till this point we will be just uh, giving rest up till this point and uh, we will be just discussing it away it's very beautiful wish how that uh, bhakti prasang is very much deep this bhagwan is he's actually speaking on his own this point and prayena bhakti yogena satsange na vinodhav नोपाय विद्यते सम्यक प्रयाणम ही सताम हम वांछकल्पतोष कि बासिंद बजवतिदान पावन वैष्णव भ्यो नमो